Yo! Yo! I've been doing this 24 years when you count my student time and everything and producing. I've never had to make the tough call in this situation. As we have CUTV's Game of the Week. Crowd, this is one of the best crowds I can remember from this. A lot of great action. You got some highlights. So, because this was built like eight And then nine. interstates after the uh, commercial break because it's Charlotte, right? Because I'm an idiot. You can't type right. Get ready to go. Saddle my keys. Now I hurt. But the important stuff. Everybody knows what's going on. High school roundup. Ready for it. Do it again. Where am I sitting? Um, Wherever you want. Actually, you're going to sit on the left side because no one, actually, no, you're going to sit on the right side because no one will wear a red shirt. It's not a hateful message, it's fine. I'm going to pull these pants out like an inch so you can see my socks. Do every voiceover for the next two years right now. Right now. Yeah. And now, standing in the right corner. Yep. Get him. Five foot, 777 pounds of pure muscle. That's a bully, but Steve on am <laughs> Steve comes walking in with no neck. Yeah, I would lose it. All right. Okay, do me a favor, Jabbar, open up uh, mic one, so just unmute it, we'll do a mic check on Colin. Colin, mic check. Uh, I'm trying to finish this candy that's in my mouth before I start the show. Hello everybody and welcome into another episode of High School Roundup here on CUTV. I'm your host, Colin Kirkwood, and joined alongside me, as always, once again, my esteemed co-host and broadcast partner, Devin Horena and newcomer Nolan Beislime. Welcome, Nolan. It's great Thank to have you. you. Thank you. It's great to be here. It's great to showcase some of the local sports around here, especially for high school, and I'm excited to get started. Yeah. Uh, my job, my main job is to produce upwards of seven shoots a week for CUTV, uh, regardless if they're field shoots, studio shoots, specialty videos. Um, so far we're about three week, two or three weeks into the semester. Uh, I've done 15 videos with sports information uh, to help them with their online um, preseason videos uh, promoting the, the different uh, fall sports. Um, we've done about 12 commercial reels. We've done two high school football games, a live Vulcan game at St. Anselm, as well as three or four studio shoots. So my main job is to get those on the air. Typically what we do is, so Mondays um, our coaches shows days. Um, usually this week was a little different since we're doing the live coaches show, but typically Mondays um, we'll shoot the coaches show and I'll have to edit it together. Tuesdays is doing high school roundup and getting that, any other studio shoots we have done. And then Thursday in the afternoon I'll start thinking about graphics. Usually Wednesdays when both um, game notes are out, so I might kind of glance at those see what graphics. Um, you know, Kutztown's a, a team, we don't play that often, so there's not a lot of history there, so I might do the last couple meetings, last game, but then Thursday in the afternoon, all day Friday is all just getting set for the game. So last week, you didn't get to see too much work that went into this because we didn't have enough stats and stuff to implement the actual script template that we're using. So this week, we get to do the actual template that'll help keep things straight for me and Devin. school football. Burrell versus Uniontown. Uh, we just got a call from their athletic director with uh, like 20 minutes ago. Uh, we are all set to go. So uh, Mr. Director here will be in the press box with the announcers. 
Uh, we'll have two cameras in the top row of the bleachers, and then uh, if there's enough signal strength, we'll have the uh, the roving camera on the field. Yeah. And that's just game one of the weekend. <laughs> yeah, we got a brand new one tomorrow. 9 a.m. 10 a.m. actually. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. tomorrow. Well, I'll be there at 9.30. Uh, this is a different weekend because we're using the smaller gear tonight due to space, and we're using the truck tomorrow. So uh, that meant me and Colin had to do two different sets of graphics and two different sets of um, uh, video pre-roll on several different computers. A lot more work. <laughs> a lot more work. Going to get Devin's keys, driving in the Friday Night Lights football game. Let's get it, boys. Oh, baby. You ready for today? Ready. Game night. Walking up the hill. Box, two cameras up here, and maybe one on the field if we can get everything. Well, this thing is grab something and head to the top of the bleachers. This is a condition we're going to do it twice. Once up. Thanks. Once up and then once again. Ugh. I like this. We have a cart. Oh no. That's my ride home. Yeah. I'm Union sorry. Town. Uniontown Burl should be a good game. Uh, me and Nolan are going to be on the call. He's going to be directing. We're only doing uh, two cameras, maybe three. I think it's uh, Wirecast. We don't have the truck here because we're doing the truck uh, tomorrow for the cut sound game. job hazards <laughs> but you don't ever think it's real and then you know you're just messing around one day and you get hit in the face with a ceiling tile stuff so we brought the small stuff tonight but of course the small stuff's a lot lighter than yeah, the so that's easier for you. Yeah. But I didn't anticipate 80 mile an hour wind so but we'll soldier through. It's gonna be windy out there. It's uh I know this morning when I left home uh, the weather said it was gonna be like 25 gust gust up to 25 or 30. And it's definitely getting gustier. There's a front coming in. I know tomorrow there's a chance of um rain for the Balkan game. Uh, I think most of the rain, the big heavy rain is while we're going to be setting up or beforehand. So um, I don't know if we're going to see any rain today, but I definitely think the players will feel the, uh, the effects of that wind out there. No it's, rain tonight. No rain tonight, but a lot of wind. No rain, just some wind. We got, see, we got the official word from... No rain. <laughs> uh, batteries, uh, 
Battery's died again. That's what happens uh, sometimes in, uh, in the old industry. Called the old, uh, called the old battery died conundrum. It happens to the best of us. All right, almost kickoff here in Uniontown, PA. Got the open script here. Uh, it's going to be not on on camera open today as we get the names for the officials right here. And we're ready to go. Everything's looking good. Uh, the teams are ready. The broadcast is ready. The helmet's ready, and we're ready to get it. Hello and welcome into another Friday Night Lights broadcast. This will, this time it will be at Bill Power Stadium in Uniontown, PA, where the Red Raiders of Uniontown will face off against the Bucks of Burl. I'm Devin Marina, alongside me, Nolan Baseline. As Burl will take the first position of the game. As the ball falls off the tee, and we will see that a lot today. As as I mentioned earlier, 15 mile per hour winds, it says on the weather app, but I believe that it's probably way more than that, probably up to the 20, 25s now. Yeah, especially with those mountains in the background is pushing in that wind, it's for sure strong out there. And I would not want to be one of those players right now. As under center snaps the ball and Gives it out again, tries to jump a defender, and gets back to the line of scrimmage. So still about third and five as you can hear the wind just come in. It's, it's really a big factor to this game here, Nolan. First and ten at about the 15 as they hand it off to Shear again. Shear to the outside, breaks two, breaks three, and dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Burrow! Hoping he would have lost that ball then. Our ledge has the reflexes to be a quarterback. There you saw it being tested to the fullest. Doesn't lose that, but gets it right back as he steps back into the pocket and he rushes out and throws it to the left side and looks like he got feet down and it will be a touchdown, Bucks. And yeah, that was just a quick. Turn this one, seeing if they can get it back into the Red Raiders territory. And they do, they get the ball and start returning. He takes it up the sideline, looks like he could go all the way, cuts back in, breaks one, and he gets a nice block by a defender all the way in for a touchdown. That is Seth Fishbach. Getting a little unsafe out there for our cameraman. We just got to talk about so far. For an hour, our director Gary Smith has just came up to me and informed me that at halftime we will be calling this broadcast. And end, as I said earlier, we will have to end the broadcast, unfortunately. But make sure you tune into this week's episode of High School Roundup to find out the end result of this one. On CUTV Sports 1, I'm Devin Garina, alongside me, Nolan Biceline.
my student time and everything and producing. I've never had to make the tough call in this situation because of bad weather for safety. We had to call a game before kickoff a few years ago because of intense rain and the fans wouldn't move for our camera, so we just chose not to fight them and just left. But I have to make the tough decision to leave during a game. I feel bad because we haven't been here in a while, but at the end of the day, you got to keep everybody safe and keep the equipment safe. Um, when I felt the camera lift up, there's just, just no, no, there's no reason to keep uh, keeping at risk, especially since uh, I did tripods first. Starting nothing. Okay, we should have two tripods. Um, we have the full. Tomorrow's going to be a long day. We would ever do that. Yeah. You would have to come back for it, and I would have to come back for it. Oh, yeah. Just do it. Well, we'll never have a military tomorrow. game. You're not, you're not, you're good for tomorrow. You're good for tomorrow, you're good for tomorrow. I work here. Yeah, don't, I was looking at him, he gave me the Nolan. <laughs> I gave you the golfer. For sure? Like, for sure? I didn't say it once. Um, I'm gonna leave from campus at like 9.30, so be at the station at like 20 after 9. Um, yeah, so. I'm building. It's probably gonna rain tomorrow, so we'll probably have to adjust. Because again, we're probably, I wanna keep the, football's the roughest, because there's a lot of weather. So the key is to get the broadcast because we, unless something crazy happens, we got four quarters of football tomorrow. So let's get the selfie and um. It should be done right by two. Okay. One second first. We're gonna get a uh, we're gonna get a meta selfie of me and the mayor shooting each other. We gonna look tough? Yeah. <laughs> Job for class, of course. I'll give you full credit. Um, and I'll see I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Be safe. Be prepared for rain, so like jackets or rain okay. boots or shorts. Yeah, I'm not we're getting a jacket. Bring your own. See if we guys back on campus and leave back on campus. Uh, 
setting the inside of the truck up. Just because we got to move a lot of stuff. And as you can see, we have a nice spread of breakfast items. I lost my car keys. <laughs> What's the problem here? Going on here? I actually don't know. Interesting. No bigger. Looks like internet. So yeah, let's go. I just texted. He texted me. I texted him. trying to figure out what always happens is here you go get that back uh, what always happens is first game of the year something is always off in the facility this one is uh, the Ethernet cable to hard line us with super fast internet is uh, has been unplugged so we're trying to uh, yeah we're trying to troubleshoot now worst comes to worst we do have a lot of we have a pretty good um, stream on our jetpack but I mean it's like 10 megabytes upload. If we get it connected, it's like 50,000. 50, so it's a big difference. So that's what okay. we're working on now. Um, while we're doing this, let's. Uh, I was going to go finish the graphics. Of the things and yeah, help, yeah, help them with that. Yeah, change the credits too. Yeah. Um, so the tech cut. So this is where everything connects for our connection for the internet. So when we came in, this was hanging, which you never want to see. Um, maybe this, no, that's not, that's nothing there. You know what, we're going to try one of these. Let's see if there's any light start blinking. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to go test. And that's what's feeding the video board. Do not use this, does that mean I have to put on this list now? If I can find the right information, yes. But it's not terrible. Alright, how about this? Look at this. We got everything you could possibly ask for on a sheet, smacked out too deep. Plus, we got numericals on either side. Like, honestly, it's the best work ever. But camera three is on. Right, let me work on this. Uh, I want to do the open with 10 on the clock, so 15 minutes. If uh, we can't get this working, we'll just have you uh, and we'll switch on to. Week one is in the books, and the Vulcans can turn their attention to the home opener at Adamson Stadium. The home of the Vulcans since 1971, California looks to defend their home turf today. After a week one matchup that featured numerous highlight performances, such as 250 plus passing yards and over 150 yards rushing, which led to a total of six offensive scores, plus the defense also had a strong showing, forcing seven turnovers, including an interception and full recovery that both went for scores. As the Vulcans rolled the Hawks on the road, 59 to 13. 
This week, Calyude looks for revenge against the Golden Bears of Kutztown in PSAC crossover play. The Golden Bears are led by quarterback Colin DeGabo, who passed for 256 yards and rushed for 145 yards in two scores in the matchup a year ago. As a late-game interception sealed the win for Kutztown at home, 34-31. Who will come out on top of this crossover matchup? Golden Bears. Vulcans. Coming up next on CUTV. Welcome to the broadcast. I'm Colin Kirkwood. Alongside of me, as always, is my good pal, Devin Reyna. Devin, we are back at Adamson Stadium. It feels like it's been forever. It does feel like it's been forever, but you can feel the energy in the crowd. Great crowd showed up. Great tailgate. A lot of good people here and just ready for the game right now. It's going to be an exciting one as both of the two of these teams are coming off wins last week. Cal U beat St. Anselm of New Hampshire on the road 59-13. An assumption was the opponent for Kutztown, and they picked up a win, did the Golden Bears 54-16. So both teams coming in off a win, though. Mitchell has it, looking to throw. Quick slant round. There it is. Touchdown, Vulcans. It's who else but Jordan Dantridge with another quick reception right on the goal line. And great play call right there by Dunn as you could see they're all expecting the run and he throws a nice slant leading Jordan Dandridge into the end zone for the first touchdown of the game for the Vulcans love to see it across the middle oh it's an interception for California wide open space cross the middle touchdown Vulcans and who else but Lamont McFadder the ball talking all American does it again Devin Six left to go. Here we go. Dropping back Mitchell. Mitchell's looking to throw across the middle. There it is. Touchdown, Vulcan. Into the hands of Derek Carraway. Cal U takes the lead. You want to be able to give Mitchell enough time, so I wouldn't be surprised if they keep Nelson back just to block. Good block. Yep. Three to the outside, one to the near side. Mitchell dropping back to throw. He's rolling to the far side of the field. Mitchell's going to heave this one. And it looks like it's going to be short. It's going to fall incomplete as Kutztown comes on the road and Beats California at home, 35 to 28. It was a great game all around. We wanted to thank everybody who is a part of our crew here today, and thank you all for watching at home. We'll be back next week with Shippensburg here, the Raiders coming to visit Cal U at home. But in the meantime, good night, California, and we will see you again soon. If someone has very tiny pants. I believe it's probably from Dylan Good Day. <laughs> Wind. It's a big deal around here. I'm recording all this, but I just don't want any of this in there. <laughs> <laughs> Middlesworth potato chips are very good. I'll give that up to uh, the Eastern side of the state. So. Um, that's my favorite one of that. Go Steelers. Go Niners, huh? <laughs> and Bucks. Go Bucks. Go Tampa Bay.